This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday evening, October 25th. All eyes are on the potential for a major, perhaps historic storm for the East Coast early next week. And around here gets set for a big change to very cool and windy weather this weekend. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Pretty nice today. Partly sunny. That's the Trustville Skycam. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 70s. That's coming from Tuscaloosa looking east and from the campus of the University of Montevallo. Partly sunny sky there. Oh, man. You can see those players on the field. Cold, cold upper trough uh, moving through the central United States, helping to pull in the coldest air so far this season. And a hurricane off in the southeast part of that screen over the Bahamas, Hurricane Sandy. Oh, the merger of the two will make for a uh, whopper of a mess in coming days over the northeast. Yeah, you can pick out that front. Come on now. Arkansas, you got 40s back around, uh, you know, Fayetteville. And you got 80s from Little Rock on south. But uh, that barbed wire fence on the Alabama state line is not going to hold that thing back. We're going to feel that very cool air on Sunday or Saturday and Sunday with very brisk north winds. In advance of the front, a little bitty slight risk for severe weather north of Green Bay. But really for us, uh, showers will be very, very limited on the front uh, tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. I think most of you won't get enough rain to measure. Could there be a shower? Yes, but... No big deal. All right, let's take a look at Sandy, the hurricane. Top winds, 105 miles an hour, moving up through the southeast Bahamas at 20 miles an hour. Uh, the radar at Miami showing a lot of rain over the Florida Peninsula from uh, about uh, Fort Pierce on south. And they're going to see windy and wet weather uh, today and tonight. And that gradually moves north up toward Daytona Beach and Jacksonville for tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, the track not changing much. This is from the Hurricane Center as of late morning. They've got it coming up toward Atlantic City early Tuesday morning as a major, mega, extra-tropical nor'east, nor'easter-type storm. Now, there's some debate in the weather community. Will this thing actually go extra-tropical? This thing could be a pure warm core system at the time of landfall. A lot of models are showing that. One way or the other, the impact's going to be about the same. Here's a look at the modeling, and again, the consistency is pretty good. Uh, the models are basically clustered now from the Delmarva Peninsula up to Cape Cod. And, uh, you know, exactly where within that uh, spaghetti plot the center crosses land, we don't know that yet, but it's going to be pretty nasty along near and north of the circulation center where the coastal flooding will be so bad with the onshore flow. Let's look at global models. First off, the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is at 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet up. And again, you can just see it happening. Uh, that's just bad. Got the uh, big nasty trough over the central U.S., the tropical system down below that. Moisture increases. And again, I mentioned a slight chance of a shower tomorrow, tomorrow night. I don't think it rains in most places. Uh, the cold front uh, nearing Memphis at midday. And again, it's going to be awfully windy on the Florida East Coast with Sandy not that far away. Saturday as we start the weekend, going to be a windy day for Jacksonville, Daytona Beach, Savannah, Charleston, up toward Wilmington. And the cold front is on through. It's going to be a windy day here. A strong north wind will struggle to reach the low 60s. The NAM is showing a high of 63. That might be optimistic based on upstream temperatures. And again, north winds averaging 15 to 25, gusting to 35. For those football games, uh, bring a warm jacket. It's going to be blustery, windy, uh, Magic City Classic. Temperatures will fall in the 50s for the second half, and I think for the Alabama game and the Auburn game, they're both home this weekend. Night games tomorrow night. Temperatures should be in the 40s by the second half, and you factor in that wind, it'll cut you in half. It's going to be cold. Sunday, the gradient continues to be strong, windy and cold. The 540 line down to Nashville. We won't get out of the 50s. Uh... Of course, uh, you've got uh, Sandy uh, east of Cape Fear Monday. The GFS has the system uh, east of Chesapeake Bay. We're still windy and cold. I mean, it's still going to be a windy day Monday. We'll probably start the day in the 30s, but because of the wind, we won't have any frost uh, Monday morning. But on Tuesday, the uh, pressure gradient loosens up here. And look at, uh, look at Sandy coming up toward uh, the coast of Connecticut. That's, that's just unbelievable on that scenario the worst impact would be along and north of the center of course it'd be up toward cape cod and the coast of maine and on wednesday the thing is inland over new england but again the european remember the european's been on this thing from the get-go 
Uh, it's been more consistent. This is uh, Monday morning at 8 o'clock Eastern, 932 millibar low. Come on now. And this thing is really warm core. It's a hurricane out there. That's a major hurricane east of the Outer Banks. And then Tuesday, it drives it in. This is early Tuesday morning uh, over the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, end of Virginia, and that's just bad. That is a bad, nasty case for Baltimore, Washington, Maryland, Delaware, uh, New Jersey, uh, New York, Long Island. That's just bad. And the snows will be tremendous back in the Arctic air on the, uh, from the mountains on west. Just tremendous snows with this. I mean, incredible snows. And, and look at the winds generated here on, the, uh, uh, on this thing. And again, th these are wind speeds at about 5,000 feet off the ground. That's showing winds of what, uh, over 60 knots over Ohio, up around Cleveland. Some of that will mix down to the surface. We'll check the Canadian. Uh, this is valid Monday evening at 8 o'clock Eastern time. It's got the thing near Long, Long, Long Island, 939 millibars. And then uh, early Tuesday morning, I'm sorry, this is just after midnight, Monday night, early, early Tuesday morning, about 2 a.m. Eastern time, a 947 millibar low basically in New York City. Remarkable. And the no gaps, the Navy no gaps model, it's very similar to the other models. It's got this thing uh, uh, Monday morning. It's faster approaching Atlantic City, 963 millibars. All of these pressures are much deeper than the historic storm of 1993. And again, the thing you have to be concerned about is a lot for impacts, power outages for millions. Power could be out for days, if not weeks. Coastal flooding along and north of the center will be tremendous. Inland flooding from rain will be tremendous. Down trees, down power lines. Uh, airport delays, it's going to be a nightmare. Dulles, National, Baltimore, Philadelphia, all the New York airports, Boston, uh, early next week. Uh, you can check the blog for all the impacts, but uh, this is just bad. And look at the snow potential. This is the GFS. And understand the GFS is, uh, it, it could be a lot more than this, but it's got snows of way over a foot over uh, West Virginia and Western Pennsylvania, back into Ohio and up to uh, New York. And I think the numbers could be greater than that. And keep in mind, in some of these places, you still got leaves on the trees, and there could be power outages there from heavy, wet snow. And I think the snow threat ultimately extends south into Virginia and parts of North Carolina, uh, especially the high terrain, the mountains. And that's a whole nother story. So needless to say, a lot to watch, and we'll be doing that in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.